Bye. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I know I have a really. You, you said that yesterday when I, like, because when you were Skyping with, uh. Tenny. She, she said it was okay? Yeah, okay, cool. it's cool. Yeah, we were, you were, we were Skyping with, with Tania. And, yeah. and, uh, I showed her my butt. Yeah. I just. You know Stone you, Cold butt cheeks. You, you showed my girlfriend your butt. Yes. And it was it was it was pleasant. Oh hold on, no, I don't want to do this fight. Sorry. Okay, for uh, we're playing WF SmackDown. Yeah, WF SmackDown. Yeah. I'm David. I'm Tyler. This is expressed friendship. It's we're expressing class. friendship to and, each other. Uh, we're having a good time. Yes. We uh, this is, we're like an hour into our recording session tonight. <laughs> and, uh, Wee! So we're we're at a we're at a good point. Um, so my my little brother and I have actually cleared the story for this game. We've unlocked the majority. Of, we've unlocked the important people. So like like Scotty Too Hotty. And uh, I created Stone Cold ET. <laughs> If For anyone who yeah. <laughs> isn't aware of the internet phenomenon that is Stone Cold E.T., go on YouTube and search it. Because Please. <laughs> a fan of wrestling or not, you'll you'll enjoy it. You don't even have to like E.T. to fucking enjoy it. <laughs> All right. Uh, Just like comedy in general, because you'll be like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we made the character, and well, Tyler did, and it's pretty fucking accurate. Uh, I was impressed. I'm going to be... Paul Bear. Ew. <laughs> He's not even a wrestler. He was a fucking manager for the Undertaker. Oh, game. shit. What'd you do? Nothing. We didn't set the max. But... Yeah, we're playing... Uh, you know, this is like... This is a classic wrestling game. I feel like this is like... It, it was, was it was rated really high too, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is kind of where wrestling games peaked. Yeah. With this and then No Mercy on the Nintendo 64. Everything after this, well, no, uh, the one after this, it's uh, they slap another one of the rocks, fucking tags onto it. It's it, where's the queso? It's it's uh, in there. I don't. Oh, know. it's over here. Uh, hold on. It so, was this one's No Your Roll. Just bring it. SmackDown. Just bring it. Was the the third SmackDown game. And that one's supposed to be pretty good. Yeah, I think this it is the one. It was on the PS2. Yeah, I think this is the one I played when I was younger. Yeah, this but. is this one and the original SmackDown were like huge. For, I think I rented this one for me. Yeah, we rented them too. Yeah, renting used to be a thing. <laughs> Printing, going, and like not even from Blockbuster. We had no. Uh, I would go to Blockbuster all the time. Uh, we had a, we had another place in when when I lived in Virginia. It was in Mattis. And it was uh, I, I, maybe it was just called the video store. Oh yeah, I love those like those really like <laughs> yeah. local like just video stores, and they didn't even think of like a creative name. It's just like video shop. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to like it was an actual chain though, and I'm just trying to fucking think of what their name was. Yeah, GameStop reuses the cases. I have I probably have one out in the living room. Yeah. Oh well, I'll I'll check it out later. But uh, even though this game is pretty good, I guess it hasn't Have aged dated. well. Oh shit! Here he comes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know so called a tank. I don't know how he got it so close, but it's amazing. It's <laughs> probably the closest I could possibly get it. You know, Stone Why? Cold AT. Why? Why? <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, this game has not aged well. As you can see, the entrances are pretty glorious. Oh, yeah, they're fucking amazing. That was cool back in the day, though. There's shit, there's, like, believe it or not, there's shit that they did with these entrances that you can't do with entrances in the newer games today. Like there's what? a lot of shit you can do in this game that you can't do in the newer games today. Like, you can't just go freely roam backstage in newer games, which pisses me off. Yeah. Why are you kicking my ass? I'm Paul Bear. Oh, and this is probably not a. I guess it's okay. It's been a year. What? Since Paul Bear died. Paul Bear? Yeah. Still ruining me, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Ooh, ooh. You got me at the bulldog. It's probably because you're a slow character. I'm Paul Bear. He's not even a fucking wrestler. I know. 
Ooh, he just followed uh, guys around. Oh, you're getting your ass kicked by Stone Cold AT. You know Stone Cold AT likes whooping some ass. <laughs> I want to go to White Castle, <laughs> order a couple cheeseburgers with a little meat and a little onion. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> Get over here, what the fuck are you doing? I'm leaving. Look at you, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Ow! Shit. Ooh, kill him. Ooh, oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't this match for, like, the WWF Championship? It should have been. Yeah. This would have been legendary. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Get up, you idiot. Ah, oh, he kicked me in the nuts. This little That's stomp. I didn't kick you in the nuts. He kicked you in the inside of your <laughs> leg. You obviously don't know where your nuts are, you hey. dipshit. Hey. You must not have any. It's hard to see in this game. What the hell is going on? Actually, I really on? can't say that. You've probably used your nuts more than I have my own. And that's where the conversation ends there. <laughs> I don't know, I've been told I'm a pretty ballsy guy. <laughs> Come back. No. Yes! <laughs> no, stop fucking running from me, you little <laughs> fuck. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yes! Look at those. <laughs> did we ever wait, wait, finish... let me see those guys over wait, there. Wait, did we ever finish talking about why I, I showed Tania my ass? No. Oh, okay. Uh, I entered. Oh, yeah, we were going to we talk way about off this. Track. Uh, ah. Uh, my butt's nickname is uh, Stone Cold Butt Cheeks. Yeah. So, I. T Tyler has a pretty nice butt, I must say. I it's like the only compliment I ever get. <laughs> it's like, and like in high school, that was it. Yeah. Sometimes, oh shit! <laughs> sometimes people were like super, like, you know, weird about it. Like if I wore like a pair of pants that you know that, that showed off my ass, they're like, "Oh, Tyler, you look so nice in that." You should oh, wear you, it you know who else has a really nice ass? Who? Donnie. Really? He literally has like a girl butt. Oh, that's so. And cool. when he wears uh, when he wears skinny jeans, it it like. Looks like a girl's ass. I'm not even joking. Damn. It's really nice. Yeah, and then there were like other times when we were like, "Damn, son, you got ass." <laughs> yeah, you do have a pretty nice butt. Yeah, I've gotten like one compliment on my butt before, and that's it. I usually get a compliment on my hair, which I don't understand because like I, I literally, I literally don't even comb it. I just like get out of bed, and that's my hair. Yeah, that's that's how I used to be. I mean, I wash it every day and everything. Obviously, yeah, like, but, yeah. Like, that's I, I don't mean that I don't wash it. But oh like, yeah, I know that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I guess that looks good. I guess. No. <laughs> that's good enough. <laughs> that's good enough for me. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm taking the smackdown on you. Can I get a hell yeah? Oh hell <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm kicking Paul Bear's ass. <laughs> I wonder. Oh yeah, Stone Cold probably did kick a little bit of Paul Bearer's ass back in the day. Probs. When Undertaker was feuding with him, the whole ministry. Oh, I don't know. You were you, no, he was. You were king. actually like really into. Wrestling yeah, back I was then. big into wrestling. I when I, was I a just kid. like knew it existed, and I had watched like some wrestling things. Oh yeah, I went to. Uh, this is one of my favorite stories to tell. I went to a. Uh, oh no. I went to uh, a wrestling house show for the WWF. Oh and, really? Uh, 2003? No, no, no. It was like 2001 or 2002. I don't know. Anyways, it was it was it was around that time, and it was me, my older brother, uh, Chris, my dad, and my uncle, and we all went to the show together. We had it was a huge it was a huge show, so our seats kind of sucked. But uh, I don't know. We got we got to see it was enjoyable. I liked it. We got to see a lot of cool guys. Undertaker and Kane were there. Uh, the Hardys, the Dudley Boys. You know, like a lot of big names from back in the day. And uh, it was uh, on the way there, we stopped at McDonald's. And my brother was fucking, he was ridiculously picky. Like he, this, this is how he was. He never had a soda until he was like 14 or 15. Are and you he serious? He would never drink them. That's probably a good thing though. And now he'll, he'll only drink light sodas. And 
Well, that's good, I mean. Yeah, yeah, he just, like, drinks a lot of milk and fucking water. And he has a, he has a little bit of a beer belly on him from his late teenage years, I guess. He, he, he's worked it all, he's worked most of it all. But, uh, anyways, the point of the story was that we stopped at McDonald's, and they, fucking class at McDonald's, they gave him the wrong drink. They gave us an extra orange soda. <laughs> and my dad was just, I don't know, I guess maybe he'd had a bad day or something, because oh, he was no. not taking any of my brother's shit. And he tried to give my brother an orange soda. It wasn't even his orange soda, because I was the orange soda kid. I wanted the fucking orange soda. <laughs> I hate orange soda. Look I continue. fucking love orange soda. Fuck you. <laughs> but anyways, my dad was trying to give my brother the orange soda. He's throwing a fucking fit. My dad How old goes, was he at this time? Uh, if maybe. he was throwing a fit, I mean... Nine or ten, maybe. Yeah. All right. Anyways, uh, and my dad goes, Take the fucking drink before I break your goddamn neck! <laughs> And Chris and I just fucking exploded with laughter, and my brother got even more pissed off. And now that's like, like, to this day, that's a staple. Whenever oh, anyone shit. does an impression of my dad, that's what you say. <laughs> that is a fucking fantastic story. Holy shit. Oh, man. How do you pick up this shit again? R1. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yes, I got the cart. You were kicking my ass. Yeah, I am kicking your ass. It's probably because I'm fucking Paul Bear. <laughs> it should have been like Cactus Jack or something. You would be done. <laughs> Beware of my car to death. But yeah, uh, I was I was a big fan of wrestling back in the day. I sort of keep up with it now. I think we've talked about this before. I think th you you keep up with it because your family keeps up with it, right? No, my little brother. It's yeah, like the brother. only thing I have to like relate to him with. And uh that's nice that you go out of your way to Yeah, like I'll watch a pay-per-view every now and again. I'm probably going to watch WrestleMania at the end of the month. Cuz uh I have the whole my, my I paid for my brother to get their uh new online subscription thing. Yeah. Uh so I'll probably watch that later this month. See if it's it's probably gonna be awful, but it's whatever. Yeah. But uh, I I I don't even fucking go on the their website to keep up to date with it because it's so fucking awful. I read uh, the wrestling wrap up on IGN that that Matt Fowler writes. It's fucking, it's probably more entertaining than the you know the the fucking program it's about. Yeah. It's awful. I if if I could get like uh. We have internet that's good enough for now. I can, can never get that when I was living in Virginia. Yeah. Um, but I could probably subscribe to like one of the, the Japanese promotions or Ring of Honor or something, and I could get my wrestling feel just by watching that. Because I still really enjoy wrestling. Like, I don't I don't know what it is. I guess I, it's just like nostalgia draws me to it a bit. Yeah. I mean, I used to like it. Like when it, keep in mind, I was really young, and I thought it was like real, which is what like captivated. Me me in it mm -hmm. but it, like when i found out it was fake i was like this is kind of dumb it's like like it's all scripted yeah so sure it's, it's like, scripted but the shit they do people get fucked up pretty bad oh yeah like i'm not i'm not saying i'm not saying it's like they're, they're not in real danger because yeah. they're they're doing some pretty intense moves oh yeah time. but like i mean like the whole thing where like the the winner is already determined so that kind of like bummed me out not always really there's there's a few uh, exceptions where like like, the guys will go out there and they might not know what to expect or, like, they might have to rework a match, like, right in the middle or something. But, uh, one of the most, uh, infamous occurrences of, of something unscripted happening in wrestling was, uh, the Montreal Screwjob in, I, I think it was 1997 it happened. But anyways, it was, uh, Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels at... SummerSlam and Bret Hart was on his way out of the WWE. He was going to WCW, and Vince McMahon comes out during the middle of the match when uh, Shawn Michaels has Bret Hart's finishing maneuver on him, and he tells the the ref to ring the bell, and that was it. It was oh, for wow. the WWF Championship, and Bret Hart flipped the shit. He left the WWE. He never came back for about ten years. Holy shit! No, no, no it was longer than ten years. I think he came back in 2010 or 2011. And they made like a big deal out of it of him.